Yeah, I'm still in the overworld. No, I don't know why. I just kind of felt like it. How's it going, guys? My name is Corecat13. I'm a woman with a deep voice, and we are back with Mario World. Last time, I kept sucking at this one dumb secret. And now, Torpedo Ted. If I recall correctly, this is one of the only times he actually appears in this game, so I'll just kind of enjoy it while it lasts, I guess. Apparently he did. Because he wanted to kiss Mario on the face. I really wish that, like, whenever Mario was going into water levels or whatever, like, it would actually show water or show, like, a pipe or something for Mario to go in. No, no, that's just a preference thing, but I think it'd be neat. Fortunately, there's no secret exit in this one, so all I gotta do is just get to the end. And actually, I might make this a short episode because I really do need to go to bed. Because I gotta go to work in the morning and... and actually, right, a, right around five... No, six hours from now, so... Yeah, I'm probably gonna play all the way to, like, Ludwig's Fortress and then probably just call it quits there because... Unfortunately, so much as I would love to keep recording... I gotta make money, too, and fuck that freaking fuck. How bonds I build Torpedo Ted? God, that's annoying. Wouldn't be so bad. I, I, I just need that extra hit, man. Man, Torpedo Ted's are fast. Are they always that fast? Fucking blurb. All I was doing was trying to reach up to my eyebrows so that I can scratch because I decided I wanted to be itchy at that very moment. You ever have that happen when like you're in the middle of something and then you just get like a sudden itch? Might be the name of this episode, Sudden Itch. I, I don't know. Probably not. I'm gonna go. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Uh, uh, God, I'm scared. Woo! Let's dodge that bastard. And I was scared I wouldn't get past that because, ooh, so that's a lot of Torpedo Ted's. Which, by the way, is just a great name. I love the name Torpedo Ted. It's just so silly. Then I get kissed in the face by a blurp! Really? Really? That's what we're doing. That stage may just take up the majority of this video, good lord. Again, it's because these stupid torpedoes or whatever take up so much of the screen. But look how big they are, they're so huge. And of course the blurps, who need to get the hell out of my way. Really should have visited the top secret area in between levels or whatever, but then again I didn't realize what was that? What was that? That's failure, Mario. I don't know why you like failure so much, but then again, I am playing this stage blind. I really shouldn't blame Mario. What's for the... Yeah, the fish are changing colors. It's neat. I like that. It's a neat little detail. Oh god. Oh god. Almost got kissed in the face by a Torpedo Ted again. Get out of the way, fish. I don't want your herpes. Man. So difficult to dodge. Which I guess is the point. So who the hell thought it was a great idea to put bullet bills underwater? Whoever it is, they're an asshole. And they need to go fuck themselves. But they're just patting themselves on the back. And actually, if I recall correctly, uh, there is actually a homing version of Torpedo Ted that gets introduced in New Super Mario Bros. U. So that's lovely. So Torpedo Ted was already annoying enough because he's so fucking chonky. Though to be fair, he does shrink in subsequent appearances. But good lord. 
I'm trying to get that torpedo head off the screen. Let's see, I need to get. Ooh, almost sank. All right, just stay low. Just stay low. There we go. Oh, oh, almost got kissed by a blurp. Almost got kissed by a blurp. That would have been bad. Don't want to get kissed by a blurp. Yeah, that was embarrassing. Man, long way around just to get to a fucking star road. But at the very least, we found it. That's pretty cool. Alright, that leads to Cookie Mountain. Interesting. I was gonna say, let's go ahead and see what this is all about. No, not these things. Sumo Bros. I didn't realize they were in this stage. I thought they were all, they were all the way in World 6. I didn't realize they were in World 4. <laughs> Die bombing Koopas. They're so naked. Man, lots of moles, too. This is a downright dangerous stage. Kind of gives me vibes of Super Mario Bros. 2. Like World 7... One? Yeah, World 7 1. Thankfully, we got these platforms all set up. And good lord. Woo! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh boy. Whee! Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, let's try this again. This time I'm prepared. I has a Yoshi had had a Yoshi. And the Monty Mole so so eloquently or elegantly took it away. Fuck these damn moles. I don't know why they like this enemy so much, but they're annoying. Alright, let's go ahead and back it up. Yeah, fuck you. Y'all can just hang out down there. I'm just gonna... Whoops. Hey. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna fly. Y'all can just kinda enjoy yourselves. Uh-huh. Booyah. Yeah, fuck that stage. Power of flight compels thee. I'm sure that was a cheap way of doing it, but the game let me, so I don't even care. There's Ludwig's castle. But we still got more World 4 to go, so let's go ahead and head back into World 3. And let's go ahead and take care of those last remaining stages. All right, all right, all right. Anyway, I hope y'all are doing okay today. It is August the 7th. 2023. Today is a Monday. And now, oh no, we got auto scrolling. Didn't realize it was going to be an auto scroller. Oh hey. These sort of platforms. I think these are relatively new to the Mario series. And honestly, all they remind me of is this one stage in New Super Mario Brothers. Where, um, you have to, like, balance on mushrooms. I think it's in World 5, actually. Which is, like, really random because that's the ice world. So you would think mushrooms wouldn't do that well. But in the Marioverse, apparently so. Also, apparently it's Koopa mating season. Now they don't have wings. And you know what? I don't care. They can just cry in a hole. Oh, no. Auto scrolling is accelerating. Hm. Thankfully, there was still a Koopa there. <laughs> that could have been bad. Oh man, now it's reminding me of Yoshi's Island. Like, uh. I think one of the early levels, like. World 1 6? I think. 
Oh no, yawn. There's that yawn. Gotta have that signature yawn. Alright, well, I'm not even worried about the dragon coins. I can just sit there. Uh, woo! Bye bye. Alright. Yay! Now we can earn some extra lives to make up for the ones that we lost. Man, that was a stressful stage. That was really unexpected. And again, one, I, I really feel like I am exploring so many of these stages for the first time. So I guess in a way it is kind of a blind run. Have I mentioned that before? Probably, I don't know. My brain's getting tired, man. It's telling me to go to bed. It's telling me to go to bed so that I'm not tired. Because I gotta go in at 7 in the morning and I can't leave until like 5 in the afternoon. <sighs> it looks so funny when Mario's low to the ground. Yeah, look at that Koopa. Them naked Koopas. Now this world is just so freaking happy to spam enemies, aren't they? So good at checkpoint. I can kill this little mongrel here. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Koopas. Teenage Mutant Ninja Koopas. Koopas without a... Koopas without a shell. Uh, turtle power. Uh, I don't know. Apparently I didn't like my song. I knew one of you happened to have a safe space. I'm just gonna keep riding. So much money. Oh, there's so much money here. It's glorious. Whee. Yeah, that was worth it. That was worth it, man. Oh god, so many turtles. So many naked turtles. Well, I guess they're not naked. They got capes on. Thankfully, I'm small enough that I can can get killed by a turtle's eyeball. Because that makes sense. That makes sense. Fa la 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 la. Fuck. Okay, I'm back. I had to go off screen real fast and grab myself a Yosh. Because, you know, stuff. I was going to make a joke and then. Slow down. Oh my god. So much slow down. The Super Nintendo cannot handle this. Much freaking nakedness. <laughs> bye bye. Seriously, I was right at the end too. Good lord. And I'm thinking the microphone. This is crazy. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna... Yeah, we're right at the Force of Illusion. This is nuts. We're almost done with freaking Mario. Well, we're not done with Mario World. We've still got a long way to go. But man, we are we are just kind of cruising through, aren't we? This is nuts. I didn't realize just how quick many of these stages were. Oh, hey, a mushroom. Thank you. Yeah, so many of these stages are... They really aren't that long, to be honest. Like, most of these stages really just take, like, a minute or two and then you're out. Like, seriously, it's kind of amazing just how fast this game is. Is that why most people like this game? Because it's just nice and fast? If so, well, I get it now. It's just... This is honestly really fun. And as someone that's, like, constantly on the go or whatever, this is honestly kind of perfect. Let's see, what's over here? Let's see. Oh, a mushy! Yay. Well, I'm always okay with a mushroom, so... Because as Mario Land has taught me, 
just, just never underestimate mushrooms because that extra hit or whatever could be the difference between life and death. In older video games, the, those extra hits, you just, you value them. I mean, this game you can almost have like a total of like four hits or whatever because Yoshi, but anyway. Time for Ludwig. Hello. Apparently he decided to be yellow today. And by the way, Ludwig is, as far as I'm aware, the only Koopaling that actually has a unique fight. One, two, three. Oh, there he is. He ran off screen. That's just rude. Yeah, you can just keep doing that, buddy boy. I don't know why you keep thinking you're intimidating, because you're not. In fact, I think you're actually easier than your contemporaries. I mean, good lord. He barely put up a fight. I mean, I'll give him credit. At least he was smart enough to run off screen, but... God. Even, like, Morton was harder than that. At least he was smart enough to crawl up the wall. Apparently it was a rocket. Ludwig von Koopa's days of composing Koopa symphonies and castle number four are over. The force of illusion lies ahead. Mario must use his brain to solve the puzzle. This perplexing forest. But Mario's not a strategist, though. <laughs> Alrighty, well, welcome to the Forest of Illusion, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be quite the adventure, let me tell you. This is basically nothing but secret exits. And many of them are just dead ends and stuff, so... Should be interesting. But we're going to have to save that for next time, ladies and gentlemen. I I'm sorry for the short episode, but... Um, next time, we're probably going to have a very long episode. Probably. Bye.